What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is once again Legacy Kill HD back today with a Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a theme of myth, legends, and secret easter eggs. You know, something that's been popular in the Grand Theft Auto series for, I guess you could say years, maybe even a decade now I think. I I think Grand Theft Auto's been around that long, at least. Anyway, today we're going to be discussing Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, zombies, and aliens. Those are the four main mythical creatures that we're going to be going through today. And I also want to, uh, I hope to make this a little bit of a series or something of that sort, not just with Grand Theft Auto, but other games. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and tell me what you want the next video's theme to be. Hopefully this video does do good. Anyway, we're going to start with Bigfoot. You know, Bigfoot's been a, well, it's been a uh, mythical creature in the Grand Theft Auto franchise since I, th I think you could say San Andreas when it got very popular. Everybody was speculating that it was a around people are going crazy looking in the forest and stuff nobody really found uh I guess you could say sufficient evidence, but it definitely was there. And in Grand Theft Auto 5, they kind of pay tribute to it. If you complete the game 100%, there's a secret mission called the last one. And when you get, well, when you activate the last one, you uh, come up to an old guy. This guy is actually from Red Dead Redemption, who had you kill five Bigfoots. That's kind of like another nod to Red Dead Redemption, obviously a rock star game. And this is what happens right at right when you meet him. You lucky boy. You're real lucky. Why? I thought you was a squatch. Nearly pulled a bullet in you. Made my goddamn fortune. A what? A Sasquatch. Man, you believe in that bullshit? I spent eight years combing these woods. I've seen one. Hundreds of times. I just never got a clear shot. Here. Look at this. It's a fresh sketch. Man, you just gonna carry that shit loose in your pocket like that? Always. Hold on. Damn! I could have sworn! They're clever bastards! Some of them wear orange so that people will think they're hunters! Let's go this way! Sasquatches, huh? A pitch so once he gives you the orders, you hunt down the beast and you find out this. Shoot me, human! I just did! Shoot me, human! Make it stop! I just shot your ass and stop! I'm the last of my kind! Yeah, evolution is a bit. We've lived in these woods a thousand years. Man, wait a second. Is this a fucking mask? Make it stop, human. Man, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. What the fuck is wrong with you running around the woods in a costume? I'm the last of my kind. Man, you fucking freak. Hey, I'm no freak. It's perfectly normal to admit to being aroused, role-playing, dressed as a fantastical beast. What? What the fuck was that? Although it is disappointing that this is not actually a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, it is definitely nice to see that Rockstar is paying tribute to a, a popular myth in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. So it is really nice to see that, and we've already seen some other interesting things that we'll be going through a little bit later. So let's move on to the next part, which is the Loch Ness Monster. Once again, another mythical creature, urban legend. A lot of people consider this to be real. There's been a lot of plausible evidence, but there's also been a lot of people who said this is fake. There's been also a lot of evidence to support that this never existed, it's never been anything in the real world. But then again, if you think about it, majority of the water, I believe it's like 95% has been unsearched. So, you know, this also, this may have existed one day, or maybe it still exists. But anyway, in Grand Theft Auto V, off the coast of a certain area, I forget the actual location on the top of my head right now, but there's bones, you know, a lot of people consider this is a decomposed body of a Loch Ness monster. But sadly, guys, it is not. Well, at least it appears not to be. It looks like a giant whale, actually. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen so you guys can tell. But, you know, it could actually just it could actually be the Loch Ness Monster. It's I guess it's up to you to decide. But in my personal opinion, I see it as a giant whale just because it's very similar. And, you know, if you look at the body structure of a Loch Ness Monster, well, 
well, what it, people assume the Loch Ness Monster looks like. It doesn't really represent the actual bones. Anyway, guys, we're going to move on to the zombie. In Grand Theft Auto 4, you could play as zombies. I believe it was in the multiplayer, and there's some other parts of the game. It was actually very cool, and in GTA 5, I guess they kind of honor that. They show a little bit of a piece. There's just some crazy man uh, acting like a zombie, and it's I guess it's like a little bit of an Easter egg. It's a little bit of a nod. Anyway, guys, here it is. Tell me what you think. The undead! Brr, I am undead! I am the undead! Ten bucks a photo! Oh, how you doing, bro? Uh, it's just your ass. I'm wearing makeup, being cuddled by strangers. I'm riddled with self-doubt, and I still think I'm better than everyone. I'd say pretty badly. Amanda, is that you? What? <laughs> Nothing, forget about it. Hey, just keep doing what you're doing. At least it's a gig, kid. Anyway, guys, we will move on to the biggest mythical creature in Grand Theft Auto V, and that is aliens, or UFOs. So, in GTA V, there's actually three UFOs roaming around. If you complete the full story 100%, 100% uh, complete, well, you know, submissions and everything, there's actually, a, on the top of Ma Mount uh, Chiliad, there's actually a huge UFO just sitting there. But if you get close, obviously it disappears. Kind of like the uh, murdered girl Easter egg. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it or... YouTube it, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you get too close, it just disappears. And then there's other two other UFOs, and it's actually kind of interesting. If you go under one of them, it will actually, uh, well, what I mean, if you're under it with a helicopter or something of that sort, maybe a plane, it actually turns your engine off, which is actually pretty kind of cool or weird. I'm not sure how you could classify that. Anyway, guys, uh, there's, there's just a lot of UFOs and aliens in this game. You know, there's a frozen alien underwater in the beginning of the story, the prologue of the game, setting up the, ga uh, setting up the story, obviously, with Michael, Trevor, uh, Franklin, whatnot. Anyway, and there's also a fighting and killing aliens mission when, you know, when Michael get, kind of gets stoned, you know, he fights off aliens, which is actually really cool. I don't know why, but I, I think so, I don't, I just feel that there may be a alien DLC or something coming. It just feels like it. You know, there's so, there's three UFOs, there's aliens all over, there's all kinds of little nods to it. You can actually make an alien vehicle, which is actually pretty badass if you find all 50 pieces. And, you know, it's just one of those things that nobody really expected, but they actually put in the game, and obviously Rockstar Games worked their ass off to bring us an experience like this. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Tell me in the comments below what is your favorite mythical creature that you have found in Grand Theft Auto V, or any mythical creature in the past Grand Theft Auto games. Anyway, guys, I am Legacy Kill HD. Make sure to smack this like button. Uh, share the video with a friend or somebody, Tell, uh, get their thoughts, and uh, tell me what you think, and I'm out, guys.